Hello there, long time no see. Um, ooh, been hella busy lately. Music festivals, work, birthdays, drinking. Sprained me ankle because of drinking whilst at a music festival. Good times. Anyway, on to the point of today's video. Jesus Freak 777. Let's see. Evolution is fueled by pride and rebellion. Now, I couldn't help but laugh when I saw this, the title of this video, because it seems to me that evolution is a very humbling theory. Uh, you understand that you're part of this huge life web tree um, thing, and that you're no more special than any other animal on the planet. You've all come from the same place uh, and you're all going to the same place. <laughs> um, and it seems to me that the refusal to accept the theory of evolution is in fact a position that is based on pride. Uh, we can go back to the Middle Ages and we can see that Christians refused to accept that the earth went around the sun because they believed that the earth was the centre of the universe, which was a position of pride. That the earth was a special creation, humans were a special creation, and that therefore we were at the centre of the universe, that was it. Of course that proved to be wrong. Now, um, this latest, well, I say latest, it's been going on for quite some time. This uh, attack against evolution it seems to be based on one uh, you're disagreeing with the Bible and whilst Jesus Freak says in his video well, at least Christians know we don't know everything I would put it to him that scientists are the ones who say we, won't, we don't know and can't know everything. In fact that's the very basis of scientists. We can only make really 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 whoa. We can only make really, really, really good guesses, um, and we can only be, we can only be correct to a certain degree of certainty. Whereas, if you accept the Bible as the literal and true word of God, then you know that you're right, because hey, God knows everything. Um, so that to me seems like a bit of a twat thing to say. And in fact, I've got a video. Um, on my YouTube profile somewhere uh, about how we can never be certain of anything so um, but we can make really good guesses and if the evidence supports those guesses then it's pretty much as good as being true and in the case of evolution anyway um, so the argument that you often hear against evolution is my granddaddy weren't no monkey was your granddaddy a monkey I don't think so so well one that's clearly wrong my grandfather wasn't a monkey he was a human being in fact he's still alive um, but even further back your ancestors weren't monkeys they weren't apes well I suppose if we were around today, we'd probably call them apes, but they're not the apes that we know today. They are the common ancestors of chimps, humans, gorillas. And you go further back, the common ancestors of monkeys. Further back, the common ancestors of lemurs. Um, but this idea that we didn't evolve from monkeys seems to me to be a position of pride. Because... What possible objection could you have to having evolved from a lower species other than one that humanity is special, you are a special creation, and therefore to admit that you come from a lower species would be to denigrate your very special position in the universe. And that insults your pride as a human being, your pride in being a special creation. So it seems to me that evolution is very much a position of humility and being humbled by the natural world whereas creationism is 
a position which is nothing but pride. Thank you. Laters.